All right, guys, so we got some six inch mild steel here. This is half inch diameter. And we're gonna build a serrated tooth bar similar to the Wicked or the Piranha. Now I did cut this stencil out out of 14 gauge steel. So now we're just gonna trace this. And just like that, we have the marks here where we're going to be cutting. So we're going to be using the Iron Captain Cut 50 today. We're going to set it at 50 amps, 2T. And hopefully... Now I think this bevel here... Oh, there goes everything. All right, guys, not perfect. But y'all get the idea. Now, I should have made these a bit wider because now I'm going to have to put a brace a lot closer than I want it. I was hoping uh, to keep it at about a foot or so. Oh, well. All right, guys, so we got the R Captain MiG 200. And we're going to crank up the amperage. Alright guys, so I'm missing a few of those little tabs there. Um, not sure if I'm going to be able to find material today. All right, guys, I didn't test the bolts. These are the wrong size. Oh, man, I knew it. Should have tried them out.
all right guys so hopefully we can hold the blade on here we got four uh pieces of wire here all across on the front and that's going to hold the blade from coming off when the tractor is going in reverse when we're digging into the soil the pressure is going to be here on the front pushing the the teeth into the bucket here so hopefully we can get a, a decent test out of this so let's give it a shot my paint <laughs> but it yanked most of these out i still got to do that one but you can see how thick this stuff is and the tractor basically grabs onto here and then i kind of curl the bucket up a bit and it helps yank it out but this will not come out with the regular uh smooth edge it just won't cut through it and as you can see, I got a lot of uh, brush growing here, but this isn't. 